Hey guys, been living with this solar generator in my living room for uh, about a month or so now. And really, really like it, especially with 400 watts of solar panels and two batteries. Uh, but I think I may do two more solar panels and two more batteries here before too long. Uh, what I really needed was an on and off switch for the inverter. So I got in touch with GoPower and ordered the correct switch for this style inverter. I got it in and played with it a little bit and works good. The problem I'm having though, here let's play with this just for a second. Inverter's on, click it off, and it goes into blinky mode, turn it on, and the inverter comes back on. It takes a second to click, there it goes. All right, the issue I'm having with this switch is I've got a 25 foot cord that came with it. That's cool if, like, if you have an RV you need to mount the inverter someplace else and switch up in the cab somewhere. I'm glad that they do that. However, I wish they would make a 3 foot or 1 meter cord from the back where the RS-232 jack is into the RJ12, RJ14 telephone style plug on here. Uh, just have a lot of extra cable. So, long story short, got in touch with GoPower, and they don't make a shorter cable. And they suggested that I get a crimp, crimper, and get some plug-ins, and recrimp that end, and shorten the length of the cable. Because I want to mount it right here on the front, you know, drill a hole and mount it in there and make it look all nice. And I really want this solar generator not to be too gimmicky with a lot of doodads and extras on here. Just keep it simple and all business. So, I like the switch. I just don't like having all that cable in there. But, but if you know, if they make a, or if you have one, uh, an RS-232 to a RJ-12 or 14 style telephone jack, like one meter length cable, let me know. So I'm going to be working on this solar generator here today. Take it out in the garage. Disconnect everything. Let's take a quick look at this. I got to uh, see the RS-232 is right there and I just tucked all the excess wire over here. Just let it loosely sit. This is what it looks like. And here, you just hit this button here. And she turns on. Woohoo! There's the back side there, pretty much flush. Cool. Another quick thing I did is I got rid of this painted metal outlet cover, patio style cover, and just put a regular metal cover on here because <laughs> I never really liked this red dot cover on here so I'm just gonna make a make a look I may change this out to a brown or black one too so all right mission complete got it done I'm gonna put it back into service in the living room hook it back up with solar panels all right just got it set back up here in the living room plugged into solar panels and plugged into the TV and stereo and stuff uh, the orange indicator light solid light means that it is on the inverter and it is running I'm also making solar power too a little bit 
Let's see how much I'm making here. Not too bad. Cool. And if I want to shut the inverter off, and it should blink. Yep. Cool. Turn it back on. Voila. Works good. Lasts a long time. All right. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Stuff that I want. <coughs> Light. <coughs> Inverter is. <coughs>